We're in the Philippines and we just recently went as a family on a 28 hour trip. Yes, you heard that right. 4 a.m. all the way till 8 a.m. the next morning on the next day. We did this because we were staying in a wonderful rental on Palulio Island that we love. It's on the beach and we loved it so much we decided to extend our stay for an extra 30 days. We had to go into Manila because it's the only place we could extend our visa. So all of us got on this trip. We decided not to stay a night in Manila because the rentals are $100 a night there and we already had our rental that we've already paid for. So we decided, you know what? We've done long trips already before as a family. We can do this. We slept on vans and going Going there and coming back and we slept on the boat going there and coming back. So this video will be all about our 28 hour trip into Manila and back. We started off from the house at 4 a.m. It's still dark. We had good friends Eliel and Lele take it. They both got up also at 4 a.m. They walked us through making sure we got our tickets for the boat and got on the boat just in time for the 5 a.m. trip. We didn't get there as soon as we would have wanted to because we couldn't sit all together on one row but ultimately we made it work this is us on the boat we're starting to see the sunrise and then we got on our van no problem right here we stopped to get a spare tire fixed <laughs> this was about a 45 minute little detour i guess this was the most convenient time to get that spare fixed for the driver and of course very important so one thing you need to know about Manila is the traffic is absolutely terrible and so that took us a little bit longer. We did stop at Jollibee which is such a Filipino, it's like the Filipino McDonald's. I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that but it's very similar to McDonald's for us except they have like spaghetti and fried chicken and stuff like that and I didn't get a picture of the food I wish I had but Kevin was pumped. This is our receipt. 1246 pesos which is about $22 that includes drink and then we get back on the road in this crazy traffic. Our driver was so aggressive. A lot of the drivers here are super aggressive and you kind of have to be and you don't ever stop. You just keep the flow going. The kids were taking some naps thankfully just trying to get as much rest as possible because um, it's gonna be a long day. On the road, you'll see a bunch of motorcycles, a lot of cars sort of jammed together, cars riding very closely with each other, and you'll see the jeepneys everywhere in the Philippines. Okay, so we just got finished traveling from the island of Palilio and back to Manila, which is the city. And we have to renew our immigration for another 29 days because we're gonna stay longer in the city unfortunately it's like an eight hour trip and it was longer than that actually yeah well we had a couple of things that we had to deal with um the driver had to change out a tire and then we stopped at jollibee which we stopped at jollibee but yes then, um there are stats that prove that uh manila has the worst traffic in the world and we worst, just experienced yeah, that yes we we believe that now so we are headed into the mall to, to renew our immigration papers we were able to get our uh, online, me and Jeremy and Jackson, but the littles didn't go through. You have to go in person. So we are getting our, our tourist visa extended in short um, so that we can stay another 30 days on the island of Palilio. The only thing is it's so remote, there's nowhere to do it. You have to travel eight hours to get to immigration. So we finally made it. So tonight we leave at 10 o'clock and we will get back to the island of Palilio at seven o'clock in the morning and then ride a tricycle to the house. So it's gonna be quite the adventure, but we're here for it. We're at the mall and we're gonna have fun. It was $240 to renew our visas because it's $40 a piece. Costs do always add up for a family of six. And even though it was that much and it did cost $100 for the van ride and we had to pay for the boat ride, it still made sense for us to stay in Palilio for another month instead of using that money for plane tickets. And that's just us weighing the cost constantly. When you travel full time, you have to think about 
all of the costs involved and you know how much work time we're getting we had a full-time cook and stuff and so we really wanted to take advantage of that levi was obviously really sleepy needed a snack but jeremy was so excited he's got a big smile on his face he's pumped because getting the papers through was a breeze and as soon as we got downstairs look what jeremy just found your rolls and your peanuts we are from Texas, so it was just a little slice of home. It was very funny to find that here on the other side of the world. Lemon flavored cola. Let me see. What is it? I need to do what I need to do. I don't like monster. Oh! Got some chips, okay? I don't think you understand. I need to do what I need to do. I, I don't understand. No, you, you're you not understanding. Well, Levi's starting to perk up. He's got some snacks. We had a late breakfast, early lunch at Jollibee. So we let the kids get a snack since there was some gap between when we would have dinner. And of course they were wanting all of the junk food. So we let them. It you like it, Dad? It flavor, which is good. Oh, okay. It's the not flavor strong. Is it? Not as strong. Jackson is always wanting energy drinks and I never let him have it. I mean, I wouldn't do that. But this time I did, I said, this is a good time to have an energy drink. We're going to be up Done. for hours. That's a little snack. We see all kinds of cans with different languages on it. This was a Korean Red Bull is what we decided that was. Did you get two energy drinks? I don't know if this is an energy drink. I thought it was like some bubbly, like. When we purchase things in other countries, we're really not ever sure exactly what we're buying because we can't read the language. This was a really cool sort of splash area, but also mist area. Of course, the twins could not wait to get into it. Thankfully, we got what we needed done, renewing our visas so fast but now we have nine hours to kill because all we need to do is just make sure we make that boat at four o'clock in the morning. So we took the twins to a play play. They even had a karaoke booth. Me and the twins took a go at. Jackson and Levi went on a walk to explore the mall. We were glad to be able to spend the day here and we didn't have to pay to go somewhere else. We could just hang out at this mall all day long, find all kinds of things to kill that nine hours worth of time. It was open till nine. We bought some stuff at the store to bring back to play with at the house. Then it was time for dinner and all of the kids wanted pizza because we hadn't had pizza in about three weeks. So gotta have that American food and it did not disappoint. It was really good. Then it was starting to get dark and the mall was closing and we found this awesome park just right next to it. No one's gonna know. No one's gonna know I was on a boat for three hours. <laughs> I got, I got 12,000 steps for legit. Yes. No one's gonna know. We were on a boat and it gave us more steps on our step counter. Yeah, because it's like we're on a boat and it's like, oh, you got, you got 13,000 steps. I got like 12. It was just really bumpy. And so <laughs> we all noticed our step counter was yeah. really, really high. Really high. No one's going to know. No one's going to know. They're going to know. Oh, what time oh, is it? Me, like 8 o'clock? Let me mess with my hair. <laughs> okay, so update on our travel situation and our travel day. We cannot make that face. Okay, it's so <laughs> it's the end of the day. An update on our long travel day of trying to get our immigration papers through, our extension even, through. It wasn't even like the, the immigration didn't even matter. It wasn't even like hard. It was like 20 minutes. We got here, done. we traveled from 4 a.m. in the morning all the way till about one o'clock when we got here and we get here and thankfully we got through immigration in less than 30 minutes. It went so fast, especially considering in Thailand it did not go fast. It was, it was like, two, like hours. two hours, three hours. It was so bad. Um, we got through immigration in, in less than 30 minutes. We filled out the paper, Ten went minutes. to three windows, and we were out of there. And so we were so thankful for that, but also kind of annoyed. Like, why can't they just take us on the phone with that? that like, that's like literally like... Why couldn't we done that over the internet? But 
Right. They wanted to see us in per they wanted to see the little threes in person. Uh, but um, we've had a good day. We've we've needed to kill oh, yes. about nine hours and so oh so tired we went shopping we went and got some things that we needed and we went to take the twins to a play place and we've just been hanging out at this mall thankfully we didn't need to go anywhere else and then um we had pizza hut Oh yes, which that everybody was loved. So we were missing good. pizza a little bit because we're we, Americans. We haven't had one. So we haven't had like, pizza. Like, like ten <laughs> in months. a couple weeks. No, no. So we had pizza. We took advantage of that, and now we're at the park, and I think we're gonna hang out here for two hours until 10 p.m. Then we will take a four-hour van drive to the boat dock. We will get on the boat two hours early at 2 a.m and then head back to Polilio Island at 4 a.m. Then we have um, uh, we have someone so picking us on. up at 7 a.m. and we will be back at our house at 8 a.m. So it's we're all kind of already tired. Jackson and dad's eyes are bloodshot already. Oh, They're very no. tired, but hopefully yeah, that'll, hopefully we can, sleep. yeah, hopefully we can sleep on the boat and on the van. Yeah. So, anyway, so oh, far it's energy. going good. Yeah, Jackson got an energy drink. I don't. It didn't quite give him the energy he was hoping for. It was a little anti oh anti climactic. But anyways, we are making it, and it's been nice to visit Manila again, the city of Manila, again from after being on the island. We needed to get out a little bit, so we are having a good time. We are looking forward to getting back. Right now, mom's teaching Levi how to play badminton. Here's the phone. And Alex is just toying around. Get it, bro. Get it. Dad, how are you feeling? I'm just tired, bud. We're all settling down. We're just waiting for our van driver that is scheduled to pick us up at 10 p.m. Thankfully, there was some bathrooms out here. And then it quickly jumps to us getting on the boat. We drove four hours to get here and it is 2 a.m. in the morning and we get on the boat early. Thankfully, the boat doesn't leave till four, but you can get on early. Jeremy, stay true, be you. That was the only eye mask they had, so it's kind of feminine. This is the boat. We're getting on it. We're glad to be on the boat. That means we will not miss our trip. And then we are suddenly back in Palilio. The boat ride went really well and we are waiting for our tricycle driver to pick us up to take us back to the house. This is us on the tricycle. We're a little bit tired, but overall it went really really well this is where all the kids sit on the tricycle and it's 45 minutes to the house and it was in the morning and so it was just really pretty looking around at everything i absolutely adore the twins and how much they love the motorcycle rides kevin sporting the neck pillow there and then we made it back a 28 hour trip all in one and we plan to do nothing for the rest of the day thank Thank you all for watching till the very end. If you did, you are a true fan.